My name is Josh Lake, and this is Library of Rock. Today, we're going to focus on the basics of singing. The basics of singing, if you've never sung before, uh, can be intimidating and can be a challenge. But today, I want to break it down in just a few steps to get you started with some singing exercises and some vocal warm-ups. This simple exercise is called the Lip Buzz Vocal Warm-Up. So how to do it is, sometimes it's hard to keep a consistent lip roll or a lip trill. So what you want to do is take your thumb and your index finger and just place it lightly around each side of your mouth. And then use your lips to blow out. <laughs> Like that. So I'm going to start on middle C, like this. Just a simple scale. Follow the scale naturally with your vocal range. You can find it by knowing whether you're going too low and you can feel a strain, or you're going too high and you also feel the strain. It's important to stay within your vocal range when you max your range out don't go above it because you can damage your vocal cords. And if you do that for a long period of time, you can cause damage that you can't reverse. So it's always important to take care of our voice. Now that simple exercise, and I know it looks silly and it feels silly if people can hear you do it, this is so important to warming up your vocal cords and this is just one of many exercises that you can do. Another one is a simple humming vocal warm up. Rest your tongue at the bottom of your mouth behind your teeth, close your mouth, and then make a hmm sound. Mm. You should be able to hear a little buzzing by your tongue and by your teeth. Posture is another important thing when you sing. Your shoulders should never be slumped over. Your back should never be curved. You want to keep your back comfortable but nice and straight. You want to keep your chest out so your shoulders rest comfortably. And you want to make sure that you, when you take in air, you're taking in the air from your diaphragm, which is located underneath your rib cage. So if you put your hands on your rib cage, and your baby fingers are just resting below your rib cage, that's where your diaphragm begins. So you want to be taking breaths from your belly, right in this area. You do not want to be taking breaths from your chest. You want to make sure that the air is not going into your shoulders. You want to make sure that the air is coming up from your belly out of your mouth. That's what creates a powerful voice, even with speaking. Another great vocal exercise is called the pitch glide. And this is very simple as well. You don't rest on any notes like we just did. This one, we're going to glide through the notes up and down. And you can do it in a siren type vocal. Ooh. 
One more to get your mouth and your jaw warmed up is simply a bois. Bua, 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 bua. Try that. Bua, bua. Practicing those simple exercises along with singing simple songs, making sure that you keep it in key. Happy birthday to you. trying hard to keep it on key and on pitch, along with those warm-up exercises, will really, really strengthen your voice and help you become a better singer as you practice those. My name is Josh Lake, Media Studio Supervisor at the Halifax Central Library. We'll see you next time.